All right, Sumo fans, we are uh, up to the final two matches, and so this is going to be a double header uh, video. The first match in the coverage here is Tochi Notion, the Jurio 2 man, there on camera. 35 years old, and I think feeling every one of those 35 years these days. Uh, there you go, more black dots than white dots, unfortunately. So he is 3 and 6, and he's two losses away from a Make Koshi, which would mean he has to stay down in Jurio. Uh, for another uh, Basho at least. Uh, for him to get his Kachikoshi, he definitely needs a win here, which would take him to four and six with five days left, and then he'd have to win four out of his final five matches. Or if you want to include today, he has to win five out of his last six matches uh, to get to Kachikoshi. And I think that's going to be a tall order for him this tournament. His opponent today, 25-year-old Oshoma, uh, also at three and six, same record, but he has obviously, as you can see there, lost five in a row. So he's on a definite losing streak and, uh, good wrestler. You know, he's at Jurio four. So, uh, just under, uh, the Jurio two ranking given to Tochi Notion, uh, but, uh, not his Basho this time here in Osaka. Although, of course, like I said, both men still have a chance of getting their Kachikoshi but they have to do a lot of winning between now and day 15 for that to happen. All right, after this match happens, we will jump to the final match of the day, which uh, is, a fun, is a fun matchup here. And there you see the man they're zooming in on, Enho, the uh, smallest man in uh, the top two divisions, uh, taking on Asanoyama, the uh, former Ozeki and one of the co-leaders at the moment. He's 8-1 and one going into this match, and he's seen both of the one-loss Rikshi, well, one of them won and one of them didn't. And I asked what happened to Asunoyama's face the other day, and a lot of you were telling me, oh, it happened in the day before tournament, uh, the day before match where he kind of didn't brace himself with his hand as he went down and his face landed on the straw bales on the Tawada. And so it's kind of like an abrasion uh, because those straw bales are, you know, made out of real straw. <laughs> And uh, he scraped his face on there as he was uh, as he fell down to the uh, the dohyo. So uh, yeah, I'm sure that that doesn't feel great. But I, I don't, you know, it's not a bruise. It wasn't. I don't know that it's such an impact thing as more of like a scrape, you know. So, uh, but he doesn't mind. He just wants to win the U show and get back up into Makuchi. That's Asunoyama's thinking right now. Okay, uh, I think they're going to throw Salt one more time. Let's see which what the Gyoji does here. Nope, this one's ready to go. Okay, here we go. Very soft touchy eye. Oh no! Oh, oh, he got something, something. Oh no, what happened? He was on his way to win in that match and something popped. Oh. Alright, that's not good. See, he started, oh, okay. Well, there's no point in speculating in a way, but obviously uh, he only lost that match because of that, you know, instantaneous injury happening. Uh, we'll see if he pulls out of the tournament. That might mean he, he'll, he won't be back tomorrow on day 11. He might have to pull out of the tournament. Uh, but either way, he's now got seven losses, Tochi Notion. So any loss in the next five days would mean a Make Koshi. So I think it's better for his health if he just pulls out of the tournament, if it's a serious injury. But here we go to the final match of the day. Maiga Shira, sorry, I'm so used to that. Jurio 1, Asanoyama, taking on Jurio 5, Enho. 8-1 and one versus 6-3. and three. And uh, yeah, important match for the man in black. Uh, you know, not to say that it's not an important match for the, that man there in red. 
he wants to get a seventh win and get one away from his Kachikoshi. But for that man to be uh, in contention for the cup, since he's already fought Och Ichinojo and can't give him a loss, uh, he has to keep winning just like Ichinojo is. And then, like I said, maybe we'll have a day 15 playoff, which would be a lot of fun. Uh, they could go at it again for the championship. Either way, like I said, I think a win here. Uh, he is, you know, even just Kachikoshi, you know, even if Asunoyama lost his next five matches in a row, uh, I, I'm pretty sure he's going to get promoted back up to the top division. There's no doubt about it. But I think a ninth win uh, seals it in concrete, as it were. And then, of course, he'll keep, he'll keep winning as, as he does. So there you go, 167 centimeters, 102 kilos, which might sound like a lot to you. That's about 225 pounds or so. A little bit more than that, maybe. But yeah, about that, 225 pounds. Uh, but uh, small by sumo standards, right? Uh, so uh, when you know your opponent is 189 centimeters... <laughs> And outweighs you by, holy moly, 70 kilos, which is over 150 pounds. Uh, you know, you start to see why people love Enho so much. Because he is such the underdog in the sense of just size uh, disparity. Uh, and so, you know, people love it when he finds ways to win. But Asunayama's fought Enho, I would say, probably, they don't show the head-to-head. -head. My guess is back in the day when... Enho was up in Maigashira as a regular Maigashira wrestler for a while, and Asunoyama was, you know, on his way up to Ozeki and got to Ozeki. Um, I'm assuming they, uh, some very large foreigners there in the audience, taking up some boxes, but it's looking like they're enjoying themselves. Um, uh, I'm sure they fought each other quite a number of times. I'd like to know their head-to-head. Uh, so if anyone knows their head-to-head, -head, put it down in the comments. Uh, has Enho ever beaten Asunoyama in the past? I'm sure he probably did at least once. Uh, but it, it certainly would be a huge upset here. Uh, and the crowd would, would love it and go crazy if Enho were able to beat him. All right, I'll turn on some crowd noise. There's no commentary yet on Abema uh, this early time. But uh, then, of course, this is the final match of the Jurio division. So the Makuchi will start soon with the... Uh, Dohyo Iri, the ring entering ceremony, the guys will all come out. We have no Yokozuna Dohyo Iri. Because there's no Yokozuna fighting, right? And uh, and then the matches will get started. First match of my day 10 coverage of Makuchi will be Hokuseho versus Ura, which is pretty much this same size mismatch almost. So we'll see that one coming up soon on the channel. Okay, here we go. Good fight. He had a nice underhand belt grip, but he just couldn't couldn't do anything with it. Yori Tauji. Does Enho no good to have that that belt grip? If you know, that's a lot of human to move. He's a strong boy, Enho, but yeah. Okay, so our leaderboard basically, uh, Ochi drops down to the two loss group. Did you see the kanji there? And uh, the two men who we expect to be fighting for the championship, Ichinojo and Asunoyama, tied with one loss now at nine and one each. But you know. Gonoyama and uh, 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 Ochiai, definitely in the mix. And uh, it'll be interesting to see uh, if they bring Ochiai up because, you know, he is way down at Jurio 14. Uh, and to fight either Asunoyama or Ichinojo in the course of these last uh, five days, uh, let's see. Yeah, he hasn't fought either man yet. So, um, you know, normally a Jurio 14 wouldn't fight 
a jury o one or a jury o three, which is what Asanoyama and, and Ichinojo are. But because of their records, I would expect uh, him to fight perhaps both of those guys in the final few days. Um, and uh, th- those will be some exciting matches. So uh, I don't, I mean, I won't have any Jurio coverage tomorrow because I'm at school, but I hope to be uh, out of school at a normal time and at least have a recap with the final few matches of Makauchi tomorrow on day 11 as we watch the uh, wrestlers come in. Here comes Ura, followed by our boy Takayasu. In that nice lime green, etc. So if you ever go see live sumo, you want to make sure you get there early enough. Right now it is 3.48 p.m. in Japan. So even though the Makuchi, you kind of think of it as 4 to 6 p.m. Uh, you want to get there early enough for this. Now normally, after this, the Yokozuna comes out with two attendants. And he does a special little three or four minute uh, Yokozuna only ceremony. Uh, with his rope tied around his waist, etc. But we obviously don't get that when there is no Yokozuna competing. So if you go see Live Sumo, um, uh, you know, you get to see that too. So make sure you go early. I'd say, you know, if you want to see a little bit of Jurio and then the whole of Makuchi, including all of this, get there around 3 o'clock uh, when you go see it. Uh, the, the, the only day that's not uh, that's not applicable is... Uh, if you go, if you happen to get tickets for day 15, the final Sunday, everything starts about a half an hour earlier because they put in extra time to give out trophies and prizes and have playoffs. So uh, you want to maybe get there around 2.30 on a final Sunday. If you ever get tickets for a day 15, you're lucky person you, um, then uh, yeah, that's what you want to do. Okay, thanks for watching coverage. Come on back for Makuchi coverage coming up next.